This video will use Mark to demonstrate the effect of operator technique on the amount of light energy delivered to a restoration using the same curing light. Mark takes the guesswork out of resin curing and Mark tells you how much energy you have delivered to a simulated preparation in a mannequin head. There are four variables that govern the amount of light energy delivered to a resin restoration. These four variables are the choice of curing light, the operator technique, the location of the restoration, and the type of resin used. This video will focus on the operator technique and the effect it can have on the amount of energy delivered. The next clip will show what happens when curing a resin in typical dental office. Okay, so Sonia, could you cure tooth number 27 for me, please? You've just seen what happens when the assistant is distracted and interrupted when light curing a resin restoration. When this occurs, she only delivered 6.2 joules per centimeter squared of energy. Dental resins commonly require between 10 to 16 joules per centimeter squared of energy to be adequately cured, and the Phillips textbook recommends 16 joules per centimeter squared of energy. Mark can teach you how to maximize the energy you deliver from your curing light. In the next clip we're going to use the same curing light on the same tooth with the same operator and the same distraction to see what happens when the operator is paying attention. Okay, Sonia, please cure tooth number 27. When the operator stabilized the light at 90 degrees to the preparation and used blue blockers so she could watch what she was doing, she delivered 13.2 joules per centimeter squared even when she was distracted. As a result, more than double the energy was delivered to the resin restoration. Using Mark helped the operator optimize the amount of energy they delivered. This video has shown that using the correct operator technique when light curing a resin restoration can double the amount of energy delivered to the resin restoration. Has your light curing technique been measured? How much energy are you delivering? And finally, how much energy does your resin need?